lying to cover it up is unjust, it's unfair, and it is a crime. Right now at 6, a breach of trust from a rising state lawmaker. Now she's facing jail time after she's accused of stealing half a million dollars from her own charity. Movita Johnson Harrell was supposed to help others, but instead prosecutors say she used the money to fund a lavish lifestyle for herself. Good evening, everyone. I'm Natasha Brown. And I'm Alexandria Hoff. Yuki and Jessica are off tonight. Eyewitness News reporter Howard Monroe is live with Johnson Harnell's response to these accusations. Howard. Movita Johnson Harrell, she was arraigned just moments ago and she had said previously that she would take full responsibility for her actions. Meanwhile, earlier on this morning, the attorney general said that she is now the 60th politician that his office has filed charges against. And those in her district are now saying, what about them? That, that, that us know we can't trust nobody. We can't trust no one, you know what I'm saying? Voters of the 190th district again faced with trust issues. Their new state representative, Movita Johnson Harrell, arrested and charged with corruption, perjury, and theft. It's supposed to go to the inside back into the community, you know, to help the people, not to help themselves. On Wednesday morning, Attorney General Josh Shapiro said Johnson Harrell used the nonprofit she founded as a cash account for herself. She founded Motivations Education and Consultation Associates in 2006. The nonprofit, known as Mecca, was supposed to help the mentally ill and poor who were fighting addiction. But Attorney General Shapiro says she stole $500,000 from the organization. Her theft knew no bounds. Shapiro says she used the money meant for her patients to buy designer clothes, furs, and to fund lavish vacations. He also said she used money to fund her campaign and used money to contribute to Philadelphia District Attorney Larry Krasner's campaign. She was later hired by his office. On Wednesday, Krasner's office said they donated her $2,500 contribution to a Philadelphia nonprofit. Eyewitness News went to Johnson Harrell's office Wednesday, but it was closed. She is the first Muslim woman elected to the Pennsylvania House of Representatives and was a leading voice for gun control after her son was murdered. This is terrible for our community. She got arrested and hey, that's what happens. Now, Johnson Harrell only took office last month. Her predecessor was also forced to leave office and resigned in disgrace. Meanwhile, Johnson Harrell is set to resign next week. Live in Center City, Howard Monroe, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Howard, thank you very much. Movita Johnson Harrell is the second straight state representative to resign from that district in West Philadelphia. She took over for Vanessa Lowry Brown, who resigned last December after she was sentenced to 23 months probation for accepting bribes. Chapter three.